cœur. I will get me some fresh oil. This will be for frying. I will turn on my stove. First thing, let me wash my hands before I get started. Okay. Come on, back to me. Hmm? Back to me. Okay. Now I got flour. I got warm water, baking powder, and salt. Now on my I'm gonna tell you this. I like doing my, my fried jack dough in the food processor. I remember as a kid, my mom was teaching me how to, how to make um, how to make fried jack and how to knead. The one thing I can't stand is dry flour on my hand. And, uh, and I went for a long time. I, I refused to learn to do it because I hate the feel of flour, flour and water on my hands. So here is my recipe. Two cup flour, two cup flour. I do one teaspoon baking powder per cup flour. So I got two cup flour, I'll do two teaspoon baking powder. And for salt, now if you're doing ordinary table salt, you do one teaspoon per three cups of flour, or a, or a how or a, um yeah one one tea, you do one teaspoon per cup per cup of flour. Uh, <laughs> let me back up. If you're doing regular table salt, you do. I do one, one teaspoon per, per three cups of flour. Now I use sea salt or kosher salt. So I use one teaspoon per cup of flour. It's not as salty as regular salt. So when you see my recipes and I say one, tea, one tablespoon of salt per, per three cups of flour, it's because I'm using sea salt or, or, or kosher salt. It's not, it's not the same. Right. So here I'm going to be using two teaspoons of salt because it's kosher salt. Okay. Most people use regular salt, so you're going to use you're going you're going to just use a quarter teaspoon. Okay. Now, on water, I do one cup one cup one. I do half, I do to every cup flour you do half a cup of water. To every cup flour you do half a cup. So I'm doing two cups, two cups of flour, so I do one cup of water. Or just a little less. It should actually be one pound to one pound. So I, so a little less because flour doesn't bulk by pound. There's no okay. Now let me clear these out the way.
I tell people I don't like putting oil in my in my um, in my fry jar. Um, I do a little bit of oil just to help, just to make it um, fluff a little bit more. So I'll put a, a tablespoon of oil in there. I should have done this before, but okay. Okay, so here we got it. Okay, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna fluff I'm gonna flour my countertop a little bit, then and then take this out. Okay, that's our flour right there. Is it anywhere? A little. Let me put these up and get them out the way. Okay, um, to get a nice fluff, it is, it, is, it, is, it is best to have a flour rest. I like to let it rest for 10 to 15 minutes just so that it could get pliable, right? If, if you're kneading your flour and it starts coming back to you, it means that it's not rested yet. Okay, you know when it's rested, when you knead it and it goes out and it stays. Okay, check my... 
my oil. It's getting hot. I'll turn it down a little bit while I wait for my while I wait for my my fried jacks to to rest for a bit. Okay. Uh, I need, a, I need a knife. That one. Okay, so we got we got five we we got five um, ready to go. Let me get something to put these in. Second drawer, yeah. second drawer. Okay. Let me get this out of the way. Okay. Okay, now in my house, everybody like the fried jack a little different. Some like it thin, some like it thick and fluffy. So I like them. I like to make them just about a quarter inch thick. That way, they, it's like a happy medium for everybody. 
Okay. <clears throat> we like them when we when we do them in in, in in cut them in quarters. Sometimes we do them we cut them in half. And my favorite is just do one big one and just cut it up into pieces. Okay. Um, but I'm not a, I'm not at the restaurant. I'm here with a smaller frying pan, so we're gonna do some smaller portions. Now this is my first, this is, this is my test fry, the first test fry. What I do, I like to test fry, see if I get, if you need to rest a little bit more. If I don't get the fluff I like, then I just let it rest for a little bit more. I have a pretty good fluff and it's like, we only waited five minutes. Okay, so that's the first one. <clears throat> I'll let them rest just for a little bit more. I'll turn on the heat while I wait. What gives you a good fluff is proper resting of the flour and make sure that your, your, your oil is nice and hot. Gives you some pretty, give you pretty good fluff. Okay? Now, let me go over the ingredients one more time. Two cups flour, to, to, two, two cups flour, two, teas, two teaspoon baking powder, one teaspoon um, salt, and one tablespoon oil, and one cup, one cup water. Your water, your, um, your flour, your flour and water going to depend on what type of flour you get. Normally, it's one cup, one, one cup, one cup water to two cups flour, or half a cup of water to one cup flour. I don't mean to confuse nobody, right? You got two cup flour, you do one cup water, and you might need to add a little bit of flour if it's too sticky, or you might have to add a little bit of water if it's not sticky enough. Okay, but you want your dough to be as pliable and easy to knead as possible. Okay? Okay. Let's turn this baby back on. Let me try these. Okay. Watch them rise, baby. Watch them rise. There you go. That's the puff you want, right there. Now we have to do is wait just a little bit more. You fry them till they're golden brown, and, and you good.
Can you, you will cut them like this too. I don't know if they're gonna fit in my frying pan, but. Okay, I'll do one more. We're good. Nice and fluffy there, baby. Watch them, watch them rise, watch them puff up. <clears throat> like I said, the longer you, you make your flower sit and rest, the better the fluff and puff you won't get. And nice hot oil, you gonna pop right up. There you go, you see those puffs? That's what you want, that's what you're looking for. That's what people like, the nice, fluffy fry jacks. Okay, so sometimes your, your, your difference is that you have to wait 
you have to let the flour rest. The two things that help it help it rest quicker is a little bit of oil and using warm water. If I didn't use warm water, I'd literally have to wait 15 to 20 minutes for these to, to be nice and fluffy. Okay, here we go. Nice and fluffy fry jacks. Look at those. Nice and fluffy. Okay, nice and puffy. That's what that's what most people look for. For them to consider your fry jack nice and good. Okay, okay, that's it. Um, let me go over the recipe one more time. Two cup flour. One cup water, um, two teaspoon baking powder, one teaspoon, one teaspoon salt. Okay. If you're using regular salt, cut down on the salt. If you're using kosher salt, one teaspoon salt should be good. Okay. That's your recipe. And like I said, you gotta wait. You gotta make your flour. You gotta make after you after you need. You gotta make it. You gotta have it rest for about 10-15 minutes. Okay. Um, I use a food processor to start because I hate the feel of flour. Okay.